So the other day while I was mailing a package at the post office, the clerk at the counter when she found out that I was a meteorologist was like, I have to ask. At that point, I was bracing for the inevitable, do you believe in climate change question. But no, she was like, Why is it that it can be sunny all day, then a total downpour hit, then it's sunny again five minutes later? And why does this happen more in the summer? Great question. So this video is dedicated to random post office rate. Have you noticed that rain in the summer is more showery in general, starting and stopping a lot quicker than rain that happens in other seasons, especially in the fall and winter? The reason is, in the summer, for most of the continental United States, rain is driven by storms that form due to vertical thermal instability in the atmosphere. In other words, when warm air gets trapped beneath cooler air, the situation is unstable because the warm air wants to rise and the relatively cooler air above it wants to sink. This warmer air near the surface most commonly occurs thanks to the sun heating the ground throughout the day before reaching a peak, typically in the late afternoon hours. So that's usually when summer thunderstorms kick off. This type of rain is called convective rain. The warm air bursting upward through the cooler air above, if it's moist enough and contains enough water vapor, eventually cools and condenses into liquid water, which forms a cumulus cloud, which is identifiable by its bubbly, cotton ball-looking structure. If this updraft of warm air persists long enough, the cumulus cloud can become a cumulonimbus cloud, also known as an anvil cloud, because the top flattens as it hits a stable layer of air, and half of the cloud starts raining out as part of its downdraft. This is your classic thunderstorm. And if you see one on the horizon and it's getting bigger, it's probably a thunderstorm heading toward you. So convective rain is driven by the process of thermal convection, much like boiling a pot of water, with each individual rising bubble becoming the updraft of a thunderstorm. This is why your evening meteorologists on TV will sometimes simply call thunderstorms convection. Contrast this with another type of rain, where instead of the updraft being driven by peak daytime heating from the sun, the warm, moist air instead slowly slides up and over a wedge of cooler air, producing generally lighter and steadier rain that lasts for hours, if not an entire day. This is called stratiform rain, because it's rain that forms in clouds that are more layered instead of bubbly and cotton ball like It's what produces those dreary, rainy days where you don't feel like doing anything except sit on the couch and watch random YouTube videos. Stratiform rain often happens along boundaries of different air masses, also known as frontal zones or fronts. This is especially true of a warm front, which we will discuss in a future video, but for now, suffice it to say that this type of stratiform or frontal rain is more often observed in other seasons outside the peak of summer. Now, sometimes if a convective thunderstorm sticks around long enough or grows into a cluster of thunderstorms, they can end up forming a trailing region of stratiform rain behind it, which is why oftentimes thunderstorms hit you with a vengeance in a matter of seconds, but then the rain tapers off and then slowly lingers around for another hour or so before the sky is finally clear. How these thunderstorm clusters behave and move or not move drives the threat of flash flooding, which we will get into in the next video.